right, everybody on Twitch, thanks for coming back here, and for YouTube as well. This is uh, Brigandine, the Legend of Renarzia. I had a little hiccup here. Hopefully the, the sound will work fine here, though. Uh, yeah, the sound audio was off. I had to restart the stream here. But uh, those on YouTube, you know, and uh, Twitch, thanks for subscribing, thanks for following, and if you haven't, please do so. That would help the channel grow very, very much so. So let's go ahead and play this game here. I just did a move, I just did a breath attack just to check out the audio sound, so we hit uh, the archer there a little bit. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and move over here. And if you hear anything off or anything like that, just let me know. I'm trying to work on this here, but... Um, this looks like this is going to be kind of an easy win, to be honest. It, it, it looked really difficult initially, but then it's it's now looking a little bit easier because <laughs> we had all that we we had everything lined up on Toby you know and um, yeah we were able to take them out pretty fast there all right so we're gonna stand there I gotta try to keep as many monsters as I can because we're sort of in a we're kind of in a situation to be honest we are definitely in a kind of situation uh, let's see what what to do though Hey, we finally get to use this guy right over here. What do you know? There we get to. There we go. Punch. Some punchies there. Okay, we could do a heal maybe. Um, I'm gonna move in. We're gonna go for some quick assault battles. I'm not gonna try to take everything out. Uh, we just we just don't have the uh, extra mana to be able to do that, and it's going to be hard to hold everything together. To be honest, it will be a little bit tough. So, even the little bit that I have, I have to try to save that, you know, as much as possible here. So let's move up. We're just gonna do some blocking motions here. We're gonna do this. Um, she might not stay. She might not stay, but if she does, I will need some uh, a little bit of frontline help here. Okay, got an idea here. Let's. Let's do a little fire attack here. Send in the red dragon. Oh, I wish I could get up there a little bit more. Hmm. Man, that light is really blinding. I turn on my light. Start it down. There we go. That's a little better. One reason I don't do a lot of camera stuff is just because it's, after a while it's like my eyes are like, you know, all this extra light. I'd be. I. I think she's totally nuts if she stayed. She has to go. This is. Yep. Someone's gonna come back and reclaim her territory. I bet any money. I bet any money someone's gonna do that.
Okay, we'll check it out in a minute. We have to regrow in a whole new team. We have to also get a Norzalia. We have to be able to push in there, do something there. Uh, we had kind of a stalemate with them last time. I mean, they, they held most of the castles. They eventually ran, and now we're just trying to figure out what to do with this next turn here, you know. So I, I don't really know how we have to set this up. We're going to have to figure something out, though. Okay, he came back with something. Cool, cool. All right, we gotta figure out something here. Let's 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 level up, see what's going on here, and um, then we'll figure out other things. But all right, we got the class. We've got that's good. That's gonna be very helpful. We get a dimension spell that would help us out a lot. Push people around wherever we want them. Uh, we're gonna need a nightmare. I love the nightmare class. Just just the kick around option is really good. Halo would be great though, but I gotta say, XP times times two. Unless you got, unless unless you're working with Hazarov's team, you know he probably could use a Halo spell here and there. But um, if we had more agility, that'd be even better. Okay, so and we gotta. Find a team to put you on. This is going to be very awkward. <laughs> very, very awkward. Uh, let's see. 48. Oh, man. Okay, we've got uh, a Revenant right here. This is a Revenant. I keep thinking of it as the Vampire, but it's, you know, classification here is that. Uh, let's see, well, we could get maybe one monster here. Might be a good idea, but yeah, I don't know. Might be the way to go. Just trying to think about how to consolidate some of this here. This would be nice if we could get some consolidation there. Okay, that that looks pretty good. All right, I think we'll get put the nightmare down here. We got 28 here, and we got 25 to summon, which is really just a mermaid. But that would be good if we could find one. I don't know if they're even gonna do that. I guess we'll just get a little pixie here. You know, time to drink a hot coffee and watch this amazing game. Yes, definitely. G. Carlet, how is your night going here today? I may have to get, a, I think I might get some tea here. I haven't had any tea today. I've had too much soda. I, I think my heart's gonna explode if I keep having more of it. So I'm gonna probably switch it up and get some tea here. Uh, no proficiency, he's kind of done. He's just gonna stay as a, a, a paladin or whatever. We'll level him up, that's fine. Got to kind of keep pushing through here. Let's look at what's here, though, because I think we just got an extra. Yeah, we just got her here. And I think I was going to run with her, her, and him. Yeah. I'd like to use Sylvie somewhere, but I don't... I don't know where. I think we're going to put her on a different team. I think we'll build a different team with her. But... Um, She's ready to class up here, so let's get her into the next class. Hunter, up to Archer. So let's do that right there. Okay, cool. And, uh, yeah, I guess... Well, he's, he's gonna be kind of... He's gonna be kind of backup for now. I need, um... I almost want to bring her along. Because I kind of want to use her in in some of these fights going forward here, you know. And it's really it really comes down to whenever I get the uh, the paladin up to a good stat. But I'm gonna need probably her to come along here. I don't know if I should just do that right away. Well, maybe I'd need to. 
Maybe I need to. Nope, nope, nope. All right. All right, let's get this team set up here. I, I, I want to bring Scum Maris along because I want to I want to get her into the end game. I want her to be with me at the end of the game. I want to see what she says or what she does. She's kind of like an Iria character, and I, I got to know more of her lore, you know? So I'm going to, I'm gonna, you know, definitely put her into a lot of these battles here going forward. So I'm going to probably bring her along. Maybe let this team start to level. But, uh, yeah, how's your day going, G. Carlot? Everybody else that's in Twitch, let me know. Uh, we could have a fun little chat about whatever. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to sort all this here. I got 60 points right there. That'll go right up there. I think I think another fun thing about this game is you're just sorting numbers a lot of the time. It's if you're if you're an accountant or you know <laughs> know somebody that's an accountant or you're into math or something like that, this is one of those things that you can probably get a little bit of enjoyment out of too because you're just like making sure the right numbers are put together and you know this and that you know and here I've got 60 and 55 we can get that down there we got five points left I don't I really can't do much of that so um, we got uh, 110 Yeah, I can't get that other stuff in here though. So, all right, we got 70 points left. I think Sylvie's gonna do some kind of. Either Sylvie's gonna come with me, or uh, I think I should get Sylvie to go questing. To be honest, I think we really need to kind of do that. So, let's see what we can do with her, where we could send her. I don't really know. Oh, and he was on repeat. Okay. All right, let's 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 turn him off. We're actually going to use this bishop guy here. We're going to use this bishop guy. Scamaris is going to come with us, just in case we need a, an extra knight for something. Uh, she might be a little bit behind. I don't know. We'll see. But um, move Scamaris over there. Now, let's see what we can summon here. we got to get... 170 points or close to 170 points let's see if we can even afford it we don't really have much left oh man 170 that would be um if we get two of these and one of those it's 180 that's just a little bit more but two of these and a, a, a little little pixie would probably work i don't know if we're even gonna have a decent team here to be honest yeah that's a horrible dragon too. <laughs> I have no mana left. I'm, I'm out. Holy Gustavo, man, you guys are just horrible with mana. You're like the reverse of what Norgard used to be. Norgard used to be able to like have so much mana you could play with. It was nuts. Okay. Okay, I don't know how that's gonna work as a team, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, we'll we'll give we'll definitely give it a shot. But yeah, I'll get some uh, tea here pretty soon, and then we'll uh, we'll get um, we'll get going. So, all right, I've got thirteen nine four five might be an okay team. We'll see what they uh, come up with here. I don't know what kind of team they're gonna use. They'll probably use Grados all over again, but we did beat down some strong enough stuff, you know. Hey, how's it going, Carrot? How you doing, buddy? All right, and then this thing didn't... I'm surprised they didn't even try to take this over. This is on hard mode, too. They didn't even... They didn't even try to take over my free stuff. They just... Just left it. They just leave it all alone. Just totally... Totally empty. All right, well, anyways... So we got that set up. Let's just make sure this is... Let's double check this real fast. Okay, we got proficiency 5. 
I kind of want to just keep them there. She's proficiency two healer. She'll just stay there. And uh, looks like we're just kind of going to leave it like that. Okay, everybody. I think that's what we got to do. Okay. Let's do it. I think we're ready to go. They're up to 1400 now? What the hell did you get? I have no idea what I'm gonna have to use to beat these guys here, because they're just gonna sit at they're gonna sit on a castle and tank like crazy. I wonder if I should try coming in here again or if I should just wait and try to summon some better monsters. Okay, let's just make this assault here. I want to come into this place, but I I don't know. It's really risky business. We did just we just we just did kill some pretty strong stuff, but I'm not sure right now. I really want to. I'm gonna have to once I start once I beat this thing down and I get up to here. It's like I should be there at that time in order to, to push forward with that team. <sighs> just if they do that super... Uh, I'm just underscored right now. I'm, I'm very heavily underscored. They, they could attack me. They could attack me. I'd, I would actually rather them attack me and I can play a little bit of defense there. That would be a little more satisfying. Um... All right, well, I'm not so sure about that attack right now. I think we're going to go ahead with this attack down south, just at least get something going, and uh, that should do it. All right, so let's save it up here. I got to say, Holy Gustava to start. Oh, boy, this might be the toughest one. This might be tougher than Shinobi. I mean, besides Tim's team, I, I might have some serious troubles with some of the other guys. I mean, Hazrov is powerful, but he he is very low agility. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna go get some uh, hot, hot liquids. I'll be right back. Hopefully. お任せよ。相手の考えを先読みすべきね。この手に。まだ力ある。我が軍勢の結束を見よう。構え。
皆の者わしについてまいれはいご指示を今や一気に畳みかけるわ行くわよ容赦は無用だ構えよ皆の者わしについてまいれ参りますIt's going to be really strange recapturing this as I <laughs> come back. <laughs> so I'm going to have to come back and recapture this, probably. Very likely. Well, you're not going anywhere, little guy. That's unfortunate. Get. Most of our stuff can actually get quite far. We do have a little more... I, I think there's a little more emphasis on flying creatures for this country, though. Like demons and wyverns and, you know, that kind of ilk. Come on, guys. Let's get the battle going here. I want to see something big. There we go. One thing I still kind of wish was that the uh, the dogs are forest preference. I kind of wish that that was still the case. You know, that would be very nice. Because I mean, I I don't understand why they're not. When when have wolves ever been uh, plain preference? Wolves are always forest creatures, always. In real life, I mean, it's. I mean, they 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 prefer the woods. Almost never see a wolf in an open plain. <laughs> Almost always see a wolf in the forest. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh! Wow, that sucks. Turn five. You guys did two. You guys moved at. Oh my gosh! You guys moved so slow to get here. Let's try to correct some of this here so we can actually get into battle. AI will AI, and some people think AI is the most intelligent thing ever. It does the best moves. No, not that much. Not that really. Not that much. There is a bit of an improvement with this game with AI, but even still, there's um I don't think I, I don't think we're ever gonna see uh a um what is it? A uh a supercomputer like chess master thing be able to like overdo uh, I don't know I mean I, I guess it could happen but I, I really don't think I'm gonna see uh, a huge kind of competition uh, against players in this game I don't think that's going to happen Mm, it's tempting, but uh, sure, I guess, whatever. Okay, come over here. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's move over here. Hopefully, I can get out. No, I cannot. Hey. 
Mm. Just can't get there in time. You know what? They're not really coming after me. They're not going to come out after my weak stuff here. They're just... They're, they might shuffle around a little bit, like like a couple zombies or something, but they're never really going to try that hard. Yeah, sure. I guess we'll come over here. Uh, no, we're gonna need uh, protect spells for those that are manning the front line up here. Probably the dog. I think the dog would actually benefit from one of those. See we'll go. Nope, 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 nope. Let's go right there. This could be perfect actually. That could be a good spot. Okay, let's look at our let's look at some of our options here. I alright, so I'm thinking about nuking the back row. I think I should probably try for that. I could probably go right here. I wouldn't be... I wouldn't be too bad off, to be honest. Uh, we could hit up this level 9 here. That was a good shot. That was very good. That worked out great. Okay, we could probably put him... I kind of want to do a breath attack right now. Yeah, I kind of do. I, you know what? Why not? Let's do it. Hellhound's gonna come in here. We're already on the road. Oh, good. We're on the road. Okay, this is a good spot right there. Let's get this. Uh, let's see here. Nope. That's a good space. Alright, we did one of those. Let's do. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, let's try this here. We'll just do a bite attack, back away. Uh, I think there's a healer behind me back there. Yeah, right about there. That should work. Oh, I actually pulled him all the way out. Oh no, he killed my level five doggy. You big jerk. Ah, oh, that big jerk. Okay, can I get around him in time? I've got Iona and I've got their C and A team go next. I don't know if I can. This guy's too far away. But you just get up here, buddy. We could use you somewhere. I don't know where, but let's see here. I do some kicking motion. Should I kick somebody around? Kick the can? I don't know. Weakness is three. I may need to weaken one of these characters here. So let's... One space in. I think we got all the spaces covered this way. Um... Very good, very good. 
Oh man, we're already turned seven. They took they they walked two spaces at a time to get down here. That is so lame. <laughs> they moved two spaces at a time. You guys need to move a lot quicker than that, guys. We can't win battles like that, that's for sure. Alright, we gotta get a kill somewhere. I think it, maybe I should have done a halo spell for her. Or for him. I'm thinking maybe I should have done that. Uh, okay, let's do... Well, he's pretty far away. I think he should get the protect spell right off the bat. I was going to give it to Tim, but... I don't know. I think we have another... Yeah, we've got another one for that, so let's do this. Just in case, because I'm going to go hit that samurai guy. Just in case that samurai guy gets a crit. I, I don't want it to happen, but... This will make this a lot better. <laughs> Plus... 80%, let's do it. There we go. Can anybody else hit her? Um... Nope, not right now. You know what? It's 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 just better off we just get over here. We have some healers on this side here. Okay, let's do this. It's turn seven. I don't really have a lot of a, a huge choice in the matter here. I gotta, I gotta go heavy. I gotta go hard on them right now. Nope. That's an interesting call you did there. Okay, we're just going to stay here. We're just going to keep nuking them at that point. Um, wow, we look at this. Icy breath. No icy hot breath. I kind of see that as being a death trap. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Go, go, go. There we go. You came out to me, dude. You gave me opportunities. You gave me opportunities, bro. Trying to think about whether I should do that or not. Um, I'd like, I'd love to hit the plant, try to kill it off, but I, I could get paralyzed in the process. It's gonna. This guy's never gonna make it in here, man. <laughs> He's just gonna be wandering around the outskirts the whole time. He's never gonna make it. Uh, I don't know. Do, do we need to heal the bomb bot? Not really. Do we need to heal? Um. I 
think we'll go here. Yep. Hey, Captain Phil, how's it going? Like I said, everybody else out here, how is it going, everybody? I gotta go get, uh, I made some tea, so I'm gonna go get some of that. Uh, you know what? It's not a bad idea, but uh, sure, we'll heal him up here. Uh, the dragon could do some damage of some kind. Okay, this is, yeah, this is probably what I want to do here. Uh, the new strategy video on YouTube uh, with Grand Edition with the beginner help with the tutorial and stuff. Yeah, that's out on YouTube right there. And I got the next one. I was going to... Oh, crap. They paralyzed him. I, I got the next one coming up. Uh, I've got... Um, this series is going to be uploaded tomorrow for the first video for this for YouTube. And uh, then after that, we'll, I'll have my second help guide for Grand Edition coming out. And that will be on that will be on YouTube also. Oh my gosh, I'm out of the blue. Oh, that's hard to see. I thought I was in the blue the whole time. I thought I was in the because they changed the colors here. I should probably change this to like blue and red or something, but maybe I should do that. All right, so we got a protect spell on. But yeah, the um, new stuff. It's going to be out on YouTube. If it's not already there, it'll be out very, very soon. Um, you know what? I'm just going to use my strong attacks here. Why not? Why not? Why not? All right, so we've got ourselves a pickle. I think I need to put it on him here. Is the Hellhound going in there would be a good idea. Uh, let's put protect spells on. I think Tim already has a protect spell. I think we'll put it on. You know what? We'll put it. We'll put it on the blue dragon here because he's kind of weak to some of this stuff here. But yeah, there will be more strategy videos coming out here on YouTube soon. Uh, I can't really put them on Twitch because. They'll just get deleted after so many days. There's not much of a point in that, you know? Let's go... I'm trying to think about where I want to go with you. I think I want to go... Right there. I'm just going to keep doing this all day because you let me. <laughs> you just stay lined up for it, so I'll just stay there doing it. <laughs> Little doggy gets a, a hit, I think, I hope. Let's, let's see if this happens here like this. Yes! 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 Okay, that's probably... I don't know what level it is. It's, it's a good level, though. Um, you know, if they don't want to move out of the way, let's just go here and we'll we'll do a, a breath attack straight through there. I know I'll hit my own guys, but I can still do a pretty hefty attack there. Um, mm -hmm. And we don't have enough for another breath attack, though. Bomb lots are too good. Yeah, bomb lots are pretty good, actually. They can be extremely versatile. Extremely versatile. <laughs> Looks like we got the ball rolling here. I think we got the ball rolling. This is looking... Um, well, I don't want to breath attack my own dude, but... Uh, maybe... I don't know, maybe we try this. If they keep trying to stay here, they're, they're going to have a hard, a very hard time, just saying.
Oh boy. Okay, let's get her moving forward. I don't think we have... Yeah, we don't have any breath attacks with him anymore. So we can't do much about that. But he'll be good against this. If we kill it, it's cool. If not, it's not too big of a deal. But I don't know if I should put the... I don't know if we need the nightmare right now. I'd, I'd like to probably use it to push something around, but... Uh, they really want to hold that castle. I, I think it's... I don't think it's going to benefit them, though. I, I don't think they'll be able to do it fully. They're trying the same tactics they tried the last time. I'm not gonna let him get the satisfaction of it though. Not gonna let him do it. Just not gonna not gonna do it. Okay, so we do have another breath attack here, right? So we could do a whole full breath attack. I'd hit my own guy. I don't know if I wanna do that right now. Let's do <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> now I breath attack up that way next time I want to. Oh, she's gonna hurt. She is going to hurt. You know, they're gonna keep playing this, this game. They're trying to hold the castle. We're down to like the last last whatever last hurrah let's kill off these monsters so we can kick so we can like kick her off the castle and just steal it from underneath her feet because i've got this nightmare here i could use him to do stuff like that and you know dang it why why don't we why don't we do that We could totally knock her out too. Oh, okay, so he's out. This thing is... Oh, they're out. Except for her. She's not out. So what we're doing here, Phil, and uh, everybody that's here, is we're just we're kind of penning them in right now, so they can't get out. Uh, they don't have don't have a choice. <laughs> they, they don't want to run, so you know they're just gonna get they're just gonna get penned in there. That's all there is to it.
No! We got paralyzed. Oh no. I'm trying to make these videos smaller, but they are they are making sure that, you know, I don't get in here. I don't I don't have a lot of turns left. I really really don't. So I either got to I got to kill her off right quick or I got to kill off one of these things or something. I got to do stuff. I I really got to do something serious right now. So All right, I think I'm still in the, I think we're still in the blue here. Yep, does kind of look like that. I will hit Tim. Uh, that does kind of do something to Tim though, but we will lower her down. I think we got it. I think we got it. That was it. That was it. We just had to get her chained in and, you know, take it all out. We could have tried different. We could have tried a different approach. I could have tried killing off the other monsters, but I think I think they would have just kept like slowly pushing around until. You know, they kept somebody on the castle. They they weren't going to give up that castle. She didn't want to give up that castle for any reason. Okay, we got a good win there. Let's keep pushing our victory. Let's see, uh, see what we can do with that. I'm going to go get... I'm going to go get my hot drink here. What's this? Okay, I'll speed this up, but you'll get to watch some of this. I like watching these battles. Uh, I don't know how many people like watching it also, but I kind of like to see what the enemy's going to do because, you know, kind of helps me see how they're going to think and probably play in the future as well. <laughs> I'm actually going to root for Morelva this time here. Okay, we'll get through the other stuff here because we're not we're not playing this. I've already played Morelva and I've played Gumol. They're both fun they're both fun countries to play as. Beepoo! is my favorite my favorite knight here, I think. But we can go ahead and enjoy. Yes. I think Morelva can win this one. 
They've got some snakes, they got some frost spells, they got Umaro there. They've got Ginny there, who can hit up all those clay golems and giants and dragons in the front. He can smash their face pretty easily with his giant axe. Uh, Kane is probably going to be the most formidable thing for them to fight here, though. I think that I think he's Kane's going to be the hardest thing he's got, they got to take on, though. Well, they do have one snake on their side, but. And how did they get. I haven't seen any battles yet. Did they. How did they start with a pink hairy fairy? How did they get that? Hey! Nice hero! Thanks for the subscribe, man. Thanks, buddy. Tell your friends about me. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Cheers! I, I tried... I tried to... I'm clanking the, uh, the mic there for you, buddy. Dang it. Thanks for subscribing. How you doing tonight? Uh, we got nice hero in the house. Nice hero is there. Or is it night hero? <laughs> I always called you nice hero. <laughs> That's what it was supposed to be. Oh, man. Who do you think's gonna win this? Who, if, if, if you're, let's play some gentleman bets here. Who's gonna win here, Morelva or uh, Morel, United Islands Morelva or the Republic of Gamol? You know, so essentially the orange or the red. Nice, I say red, too many knights. You think red's gonna win? It's turn seven, I thought Morelva's gonna have a great chance of winning here, but I don't know, they're, they're, they're finally getting into play. It's, it's taking too long for them. We got two for red, I'm for Morelva, I could be wrong, you know. Even though they've got a quite nice team. <clears throat> I think the problem is Umamaro's in the back. You know, he should be in the front going boom, 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 you know, this head cannon. Yeah, that nice hero. How, how's it going, man? How you doing? Turn eight. Yep. Okay, clearing some stuff up here. You got you got Ginny in the front line. He's powerful dude. He hits you, he'll take you down. Even Umamaro. If that dragon gets taken down and that golem on uh, the Reds team, it's over. Morelva will, Morelva will get the win. I, I'd almost guarantee it. I, mean, I could be wrong still, but I'm, I'm just calling it the way I see it. And, and Kane's kind of back there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No! Oh, poor Radka. She actually did. She, she's she got amazing growth in this game. If you want a good archer, get Radka. Get, if you're going to do alternate, I would recommend Radka with Elena. Those are two of the best archers you can get in this game. 
I mean, obviously you can change them into something else if you want to, but... Mm. Oh, Dude, you could have fought more. Ginny's not even that hurt. He could have done so much more. And you still got Umaro here. Umaro could have went boom and blasted them. Mm. I had high hopes for you guys. I had high hopes. And, uh, it's, uh, it's, yeah. Oh well. Morelva the ar <laughs> the army. <laughs> They could have titled that a little bit better, different. It always ends up like that. Holy Gustava, the army. Something, the army. I think they could have... Uh, I think they got a little lazy with that with that part, but... Yeah. All right. I don't know if there's any more battles here, but I guess... I guess we'll see. There's more battles. Where? Oh, okay. Yeah, I can understand that. All right. Ooh, let's read this here. <laughs> we get an extra knight here. Young man named Dole nodded his head wordlessly. Conscript your services. <laughs> Up to the room and knelt in front of a small altar to pray. Are you interested in this altar? Hey, Solomon, how's it going? I don't know if you you saw me last week, but yeah, I've already started uh, knocking down the green team here, and uh, they're they're basically down to three castles left. I think, I think they're down to three at this point, or. No, we'll have to look. But, um, yeah, welcome back, Salman. And, like I said, nice hero. I don't know if you heard me, but uh, thank you for the subscribe. It does, does mean a lot, does help me, and uh, does help the channel. But, um, yeah, we're doing the... Um, and I've seen Nolan action. He is pretty dang good, so... I may switch the teams up in the north because honestly having what two guys push back and one person draw in I could do so much with him and Gasper and uh, uh, the other dude the other big guy you know the main main puppeteer dude I could do so much with that kind of a team <laughs> Wow. So they have to kill their siblings and former heads. Their parents have proved that they have purged themselves uh, of emotion. <laughs> hey, nice hero. That's so cool. You got the Vesper now. Here, cheers. I'm going to I'm going to clank to you everybody if you want to if you want to do a little cheers clank. I've got some uh today I've got some some raspberry tea, which I haven't I haven't had in a while, but actually it's pretty good this time. I'll, I'll give you a, a cheers clank here. So, that's for everybody joining me today. Uh, um but uh yeah, thanks for that, man. And uh, the Vesper, it's a pretty good drink. It's a pretty exotic drink. I gotta tell you, it's very tasty. Um, at least I think it's very tasty. It was a good. It's actually a really good drink. I'm surprised they put it in the book, and it was a real thing. Like, like I just watched, I just watched um, uh, Casino Royale like two two days ago. You know, I was like. 
My, the only thing is I don't have those those martini glasses. I don't have those martini glasses. It would be perfect if I had that though, you know. But this, but dude, I just read this. This is pretty terrible, honestly. This this no guys. <laughs> This guy's a killer. This guy is a not a good guy, but he's on our team. Hey, isn't it better that he's on our team and not against us? <laughs> Jeez, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is a to live that I don't know if I could live that kind of life. That that is that is way way too much. Okay, so we did get Noel. You know, he's D and B, but attack of 136, that's pretty good. Hey Valkos, how's it going, man? Haven't seen you in a decade. Or maybe a year, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> How you doing, man? How is it going? Okay, so this boy is a clan of assassins has been contract to do the dirty work behind the scenes of Gustav's expansion. Rumor has it that nobody sees his face a second time because he's just so good at his job. On the night before the war, he massacred all of his siblings in compliance with the clan's code that family skills may only be passed down to one successor. He's never had contact with others before, so when he only approaches him, his apparent harshness is simply a front for her... For his secret attraction to her. Oh my gosh, wow. Wow. Dude is an emotionless killer. He's he's almost like a robot in a way. You know, he doesn't feel anything. He just... That's... Well, he's on our team, you know. <laughs> yeah, you did miss some... You did miss some good birthday presents, man. I, I opened a whole bunch of stuff. One of them was a, a rainbow unicorn... I don't know what happened to it. It ran away one time, and I, I can't find it anymore. But, you know, it's it's around the forest here somewhere. And, you know, it's healing bunnies and, and doing it, you know, unicorn stuff. You know, they, they heal on the battlefield here. You know that. I'm, I'm sure you know that. But, uh... You are my liege, lord. So, my favorite nation run, I should use dancers and thieves more. That could be something, actually. It's it's a little tricky, though, because they're... A thief wouldn't really... Unless it's a treasure hunter or, or like, an assassin, I would consider them frontline fighters. They're, they're more flankers because they come in, they do a little bit of damage, they get out. If, if they get surrounded, they don't have the defense to handle a bunch of hits, you know? So, yeah... But, uh, yeah, man, welcome back, Valkos. You know, we're about to, uh, st we're, bar we're about to start up another multiplayer pretty soon here. Not this next week, but maybe the week after that. So, I don't know if you had any interest, but just letting you know. Um, Swordsman works wonders for green. And they can, too. It just, as soon as they get trapped, it's... You know, I, I had a, uh, what, who was it? Um, it's not Sid, it was the guy with with uh, Morelva's team. That as soon as he got trapped in battle, it was like two or three hits and he was, he was down. No, it wasn't Jose, it was Yuki. Yeah, two or two, three hits, like they did two crits and, and he was gone. I'm like, I'm in the forest. <laughs> but I got trapped in the forest playing against a shinobi because I'm like, well, he's going to be perfect going in there, you know, because he... He loves the forest train, and they just had two griffins be able to get in there, and I was, I was like, oh, man. So, that's the whole thing. Like the, I got to say with this game, the whole uh, chain effect that happens in this game is a little stronger than it was in Grand Edition, and uh, un unless you have more, like, I got to say the Paladin class, the Tankier class are just straight up some of the best stuff. You could get chained, and it's okay. Because you're not going to take that much damage, you know. The the great thing about a samurai, though, is you can do their super attack and get, like, super crits and stuff, you know. But you got to be very careful in this game with all that enclosure stuff. You really do. 
you you uh you let it you you let it slide one time with the leader and you're just like oh my gosh i'm regretting this now you know it it'll happen it'll definitely happen uh they can dodge arrows that's something that i like though you know having that ability to do stuff like that uh more historical grand theme and that's that's kind of what they did with the whole samurai thing from the past too you know those samurai in the past they could cut down arrows i love that option for samurais even dinadan has that option too which i think is cool you know because he's a sword master but you know not that kind of sword master <laughs> uh from grand edition but all right i think we should go up to quaddle more than getting a hairy fairy here i think we should definitely do that I think that's something we should uh, definitely try for. And I, I love the fact that they, they try to incorporate things that are a little more... Um, uh, a little more... strategic, you know, and... Uh, a little more tactical in that sense. Uh, let's see how we're gonna... I, I don't know how I'm gonna fix this here. Because I want to get, I want to get that there. And I want to get this here. I don't know if I can get anything else around. Um, plus, you can use your buff to help defend them better. Yep. Yeah, they can get a good buff, especially if they raise their own agility. But they kind of have to a lot of the times. So you have to put them in the forest, do their little debuff, raise their their defense. Then they're good. You know, but then other than that, you know, got to be careful still. Um, uh, this is my, this will be my last natural one. Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out some, some fun alternative things to do after this. Because I'll probably still play this now and play Grand Edition, but, you know, won't be just the basic LPs. I'll be all, all done with it. It'll be, it'll be weird, man. Years and years and years later, finally finish all the basic LPs. You know, what am I supposed to do next? You know, what, what should I do? <laughs> don't know. Uh, I don't want to do that, but... Mm. Mm. Okay, that'll work. That will work right there. I know, it's been so long too. And we haven't even, you know, the whole point was like... I thought we were going to be done. You know, I did some challenge modes. I'm actually going to do, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start up with the strongest challenge mode. I'm going to see if I can get the most amount of points possible with the strongest knights possible in there. And I think Solomon has a good idea, or I don't remember if it was Solomon or Phil or who was saying, but I'm definitely going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with the strongest guy. I'm going to go with Rudo and I'm going to bring Umamaro with him. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> just gonna be like <laughs> clean military <laughs> dead <laughs> you know <laughs> that was you Solomon okay I mean maybe you'll do that or else maybe I'll just I'll just run with um I'll just run with Rudo solo with like a phoenix or something he'll drain everybody clean military blah dead you know and that's how it goes I mean he just kills everything he touches with that stuff um, I don't know if you saw the video I did before with uh, the one-man army, but I put him up. If you saw the one with one-man army, I put I put Rudo up against the Zor illusion, and I had to kill both leaders on both armies, and I had to kill off most of his dogs and kill him. He, the Zor illusion, could have killed Rudo very easily if he if I didn't miss once, but I had to make sure I wasn't chained. But I, I did that video some time ago, and uh, it was just Rudo. With with uh, the Zor's tears, he could move twice, just like the Zor Illusion himself. That was a tough battle. I was I was starting to sweat at the end. I'm like, wait a second, he could kill me. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, don't kill me. No, I did so much work, you know. But uh, all right, let's get um, let's get him over there. This is this is kind of what I want to do. He Noel is going to be my guy over here so we're gonna play we're gonna we're gonna play with the champions oops well that's that's base i want to have i want to have that base 
so now so now, did, did you come by did you come by to to rub it into me you know and i i came by your your stream the one time or your video i'm like you dirty gustavians you know because that's what everybody calls them and i wondered at the at the very at the very beginning like you see tim trying to buy a brigandine and later on he tells his family he's like we don't need no brigandine we can do a... I'm like but dude you just tried to buy the brigandine from some random black market guy you know i'm like dude let's be real <laughs> you just you just you just did that <laughs> you just did that dude you gotta be honest with yourself you know maybe you really actually do want it you know maybe that uh, maybe that was the, the case there so i don't know but um yeah that was um fun little side thing there so she's gonna do some stuff here noel was noel was the guy i'd like to level him up i already have an idea to the team i want to take in the final fight maybe i'll work with noel but i do want to take what i want to do is i want to take i want to take tim i want to take yona and i want to take sky maris i want to know what the story is with that if she's like the real new iria or something like that but i have to play with her probably more to get to get to know that and uh this guy we're gonna he's only 12 so we're gonna we're gonna use him like this but in this challenge mode i got going on here man two times experience everybody i can't cross class as much as i want to so you know that's you know if everybody if you're level 19 it's like well I guess you're saying that, you know, it's whatever. Yeah, that's why the nation should talk about him, though. Yeah. Well, we only took over a couple things. I came into Lorenz. We ended up with a stalemate. Uh, Rubino ended up quitting and leaving, but there was one night left. And uh, we, we went down to almost like three monsters at the end. And I think I wounded one of his knights. But wasn't enough to push in there. And now he's got a now he's got kind of a strong team, so I've got a bunch of noob little dudes here. <laughs> I was like, goblins, yay! <laughs> I really don't want the squishy goblins, but you know, whatever. Um, yeah, we'll have to figure out a team there. But uh, yeah, we're just basically just getting going here. You know, I've just got this couple things here, and uh, I, I figured I'm gonna clear out Shinobi first. So I don't have to deal with that headache when she turns into a mother and has Holy Word and this and that. And she might be able to beat Tim down a little bit. Uh, then I'm going to come back here, you know. <laughs> I, I keep telling people, I'm like, dude, doesn't it kind of make, make me look, don't it, doesn't it look a little bit like Dave Grohl? Do I look a little bit like Dave Grohl with that Rubino face? I, I kind of wonder, you know. Because Dave Grohl's going a little more white, but Rubino's got blondish hair, which is almost looks white. So I was like, <laughs> I need longer hair. <laughs> yeah. I was like, that's a... <laughs> I didn't even try. I, I, took, I took that pose picture long ago, and I'm like, this almost fits with... This almost fits with Rubino's face. <laughs> I actually... I have my face... I, I, I made myself after a lot of the characters here, except for Stella, except for Stella. But I have a picture of me as as uh, Tim, Rudo, uh, Rubino, Eliza. Oh, and I don't have Tyler either, but yeah, it's uh, yeah, I made it. I made it for the justice one here. So there's a justice emote for justice. And uh. Paul Paul helped out with that. And I made one for uh, Eliza. Make <laughs> 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 I made one for Eliza for that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't have any other ones here, but I, I've got some other stuff I could show you. I could show you some other stuff I got here. Uh, the one with the one with Rudo looks pretty pretty interesting. Actually, looks kind of boss. I might be able to pull it up here if, if everybody wants to see. If you just if you don't mind, one second. Let me um let me get the one with Rudo up here. I've got I've got it here. No, I can't. Okay, let, let's get this up. Uh, let's get that one up there. Where is it? 
<laughs> yeah, kind of is a bit. Uh, I had a lot of fun one night. I had a lot of fun, you know, doing stuff uh, one night. So here's the phone with Elza. Tim actually looks, I almost look exactly like Tim with the one Tim picture that I have. I think I look the closest to Tim here. Where is it? Where's Rudo? Where's Rudo? Me, I'm... I was I was having fun with all this stuff. Rudo me, here it is. Okay. Okay, I can't get any bigger than that, but <laughs> I'm gonna use this for some other fun titles I'm gonna put together here. <laughs> so So uh you know, I, I was like, yeah, let's 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 do some of that there. So here here's the um I'll show you the, the, um, and I got the one for Eliza here. Where is it? I was just having, a, I was having a lot of fun one night. I was, I was thinking about putting my face over like all the characters, but then I got to think about Talia. I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to look as Talia. I don't think that's going to look very good, you know, but, uh, like, I, I don't think I look very good as Eliza either. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, let's do this. <laughs> so <laughs> put that there. <laughs> yeah, the one eye going like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, So that's gonna be on some fun fun side LPs that I'll probably do. I'll just I'll have some uh pictures made up with that. And so people are like, how did how dare you do that? It's just you know, it's just for fun, guys. Just for fun. That's all. Um, where's the Tim one? Oh, where's the Tim one? Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't do that yet. Um, didn't do that yet. Here's the uh, here's me as Tim, which I think it's pretty close. But I think like the sideways look. You know, I just put on put on some glasses. I'm like, dang, that actually like my pose turned out very close to that. I actually had no a normal picture like that. I'm like, yeah, I could do that. So, I already made a gif of this before, or not a, well, not a gif, but I made a picture like that in the past. That was when they were coming out with the new game, and I'm like, let's let's do some stuff, you know? And so, that that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it right there. Yeah, I was having fun. Let's put your luck to the test. Come on, Streamlabs. Stop it already. All right. Okay, let's play the game. Um, <laughs> I was having fun <laughs> with, with pictures. Um, uh, Rubino is definitely high on the justice stuff. You know, definitely high. I was trying to figure out some other cool pictures I could I could add to this just to have fun with the game. But um, all right, let's get serious. Let's play the game. We have to, what do we have to do? What do we have to do? That's the, that's the question here. I'm gonna put him over there. He'll make that new team. Then we'll make another team to go out and play some defense somewhere. And we can try to spread out in different ways. Or I could just make a team just to plug this hole, just go back and forth. So that once I go over there and take out Norzalio, I could just do whatever else I kind of want to do, you know? at that point. Um, so I think that'll be fine. I don't know if we're going to fight with this team right away because, I mean, it is true 13-9-4-5 versus 14-423. We're probably going to have some troubles, especially the rulers there, and they're going to hold that castle and turtle that thing. They're, they're going to throttle that castle like... I don't know. Insert name. Uh, Switch Faction is the official fave at this point. Uh, well, I don't know if you saw this, man, but I've got the pin right here. <laughs> so far, I'm liking, uh, Morelva and Gomol is my, is my favorites. Um, this one's a, this was a lot, a lot of fun too, but I have to finish that before I really come up to a good conclusion. But so far, my favorites, Morelva followed by Gomol. Once I finish this one, I'll have a better, a better, uh, idea, you know, going forward here. But, um, all right. 
So let's do that. I was thinking it, it, it comes as a pin, you know, that's going to work out just great there. You know, why not? Why not? My dad used to do it all the time. He put pins in his hats like all the time, you know. I'm just like, well, it fits there. It actually looks like it belongs on the hat. I don't think other people really even, if they're coming, joining the stream now, they're just like, oh, that's just a part of the hat, you know. It just, it seems to work, you know, because you don't, you just think, oh, that's just a part of the hat, you know, it's just one of those nice little, nice little things. But, yeah, man. Yeah, I think it works out quite well. I was thinking other people were going to put it in their hats, or their beanies, or whatever they wear when they stream. I was thinking people were going to do that too. I was almost hoping they were going to offer an option of different different symbols, you know? I'd almost like the, the snake one from Morelva with the giant the giant snake that, you know, coils around with all the, all the seven stars. I think that would be really cool to have too. I think it would be nice if they offered stuff like that. Some some people probably would want a unicorn one from Gamol too, you know? I don't know. Maybe people would want that. Um, yeah, man, now they're up to 1,500. They're probably going to come out after me, but that's okay. I'll fight it. I'll fight it. We'll play some defense here. So we're going to just push in here. We're just going to do some basic stuff. Once we get the third team set up, then we'll probably have them come over here and fight in this triangular section. Get some levels, you know, all that sort of thing. And that should be good. Spread out the collector's editions. Yeah. Yeah, I had this <laughs> I had this fun joke. I had uh, some other people come by and they're just like, Yeah, I've got all the collector's edition. I never I never looked into it. I'm like, you know, I never I never opened it, I never did anything with it. You know, I'm like but how do you know you got anything? What if they just sent you an empty box? You, you paid 180 bucks and you got, there's nothing in it. I mean, how do you know? <laughs> They're like, well, it doesn't matter. I, I, <laughs> like, but what if, what if they, you know, sent you old baseball cards, you know? <laughs> they sent you old baseball cards. You're like, that, this isn't, this isn't what I bought. What? Why am I getting an M&M CD in here? I, I ordered Brigandine. Can a real Slim Shady please stand up? You know, you, you might not even know, you know? <laughs> Can you just, you might not know, man. <laughs> With damaged goods. Yeah, you might not want to shake it. You know, it's not, it's not a shake and bake, the kind of thing. All right, let's do this battle here. If we have another fight, whatever, I don't mind. It's cool. So I'm putting her here just in case I lose a knight, then I can replace with another knight and just keep pushing forward. So what I like to do with this game, man, and I've been doing it almost religiously now, even with the alternate chapter, is take four knights with you. If you get one knight injured, replace all the monsters to the other guy, go forward or play defense, whatever, you're not at, the, at any kind of disadvantage. You know, you're always ready to go. And then sometimes I quest them sometimes, and you know, it just seems to be easier that way. And I found out with this game, for the most part, you need like four, about four armies, for the most part. Sometimes five, depending upon what you do, but you, you, you don't need as many armies in this game as you do in Grand Edition. You know? Mm -hmm. Unbox once and rebox till you can display it well. Yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I I, I have a shadow box and you probably saw it. I made the. Uh, I'll get it quick for people who want to see. But we'll play it. We'll play this battle here. We'll play this battle out. But I got a I got a video up, or you could go get this too. And you could make it too. I'm sure you can find it, but I put the map in a shadow box here. And I changed the lettering, I changed the coloring. Because otherwise it was like all red. It was like way too red. I'm like, why is this whole damn map red? I know the original game was like all very green. But I changed some of the colors so you see some like green colors in there. You know, some other coloring in there. 
And I got a video. I got a video that uh, shows you where you can get this map. You can download it and have this very map that I I put in here because I edited all the words out into English. You know. Um, but yeah, it's like just a, it's a shadow box I put in there. I think with the new game stuff, I'd have to get a bigger shadow box and do something with that. Because right now I just like I I kept it in the same the same you know box that I that it came with. But uh, and and uh, Valkus is is Tim saying Quetzalcoatl sometimes? I think he's saying Quetzalcoatl, the god Quetzalcoatl from the Aztecs. It sounds like he's saying it sometimes, right? I think he's saying that. Well, he said Sinzuar right there, but the, I sometimes I almost swear I heard him say Quetzalcoatl. Or Ket Kitsukatl or something like that. I know he's talking about the Sinzor thing. I still have to learn about that too, because it's like... They believe their family blood is so powerful because they had their previous leader called Sin kill the... Uh, kill the Hellhound or kill the... Zor illusion or the Zor at the time and uh, I still don't even know what that is I'm sure I'm gonna find out what that is I'm sure it's probably an exciting story to figure that out but did they name him did did they name him sin to represent the moon is it because of the moon because the ancient text for sin I believe was the moon you know Yeah, the first part, it seemed like Tim is being a little bit of a hypocrite with the whole brigandine thing. He's going to try to smuggle a, brig a brigandine. <laughs> I'm just thinking, how is he even... How how could he even just get one like that? It, it it would have to come down to he's probably getting Morelva's brigandine because, you know, they're pirates and stuff, and that stuff can change hands quite frequently. But then he's like, we don't need a brigandine. Is he just at the point... I I'm getting the feeling. Is he just at the point that... He's disappointed with trying to find sneaky ways to get a brigandine that he's just going to go to war for that. I get the feeling that that's part of the reason why we're fighting right now is because he kind of wants to just prove himself, you know, and he, and he feels like it would be good to have a brigandine. It would just like prove, you know, his conquest theory. But so far, it seems it seems pretty interesting. Al, you know, Alson. Uh, I I don't know. He seems like kind of a good guy. I think. You know. It's oppression. It's just it's being called names for too long, or or were they like oppressed from other countries from doing business? Maybe that was the case. Maybe they weren't. They they couldn't do the you know they couldn't do any trading. There was maybe was there like an embargo on their on their trading or you know yeah I'm sure I'll learn. I just I, I'm I'm still trying to theorize you know what's going on with with all that because it'd be nice to know. It would be nice to know. <laughs> I know I'll get to it though, but. It's just been like a whole year. I haven't played this at all. I just kept this fresh, so I would learn when I played it the first time, you know. Uh. Here, let's move you first. Since you move the furthest, move you first, get you up here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd recommend that too. You you could play, um, and I've even done this too, you can play a whole game just by letting the guys fight by themselves. With saints, temple knights, paladins, they don't go down that easily. They're they're so good. It just comes down to this game as like what what has the best healing properties? What has the best defense? 
it's not gonna it's not gonna falter very well I'd say that if you're gonna play like Legend of Forcina evasion tanks would be some of the best other people like will live and die on the idea of having a ninja on your team you know by themselves just take care of the whole army you know because <laughs> they don't there's no surround chain that happens in the original game and in grand edition it goes like this or like this or like this or like this um and in this game it actually goes a little bit further out so i think it it, it kind of switches things all the way around but it pushes the whole game into a very tank heavy game that's why umamaro is one of the best one of the absolute best knights out there because tank wise he can handle it he can really honestly handle it Rudo is uh and then all the other kinds of tanks like um you know paladins and and uh whatnot but uh yeah Val what do you think about um what what do you what would you say would be some of the best temple knights out there I want to say Carlotta did really well for me I think she's one of the best but yeah let me know what you think about that you thought Cardinals were godly? Godly? Grados MVP tank. Grados does really, really well. I have to say, from what, from what I've been playing though, I think Darius is one of the absolute strongest paladins or dark knights that I played as. Grados is very strong too, but once once I had to play against against Darius, um, you know the uh, the Barrett from uh, Gumol. Dude is super powerful. So ridiculously powerful. Like, you can't barely kill the guy. Like, I'm just like, are you kidding me? Ah, oh, Gonna kill everything around him half the time. Even when I'm playing the alternate chapter stuff, just gotta kill everything but the doubt, but that dude. And, uh... <laughs> like, yeah, I'm just, like, because you're, you're playing uh, the Gamol right now. So I would recommend if you need a good, strong, good, strong tank you frontline. You are my liege, Lord. Darius, Darius mixed with Kate, and you could put Kate as a as a as a tank too. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to lose. <laughs> it's so hard to lose with those two. You know, the the Gumo comes with like a good, fashionable variety pack of knights. Reminds me exactly of. Nuomechia. Nuomechia has a plethora of variety, which is awesome, you know? Only one against him because he retreated? Yeah, yeah, half the time that that's that was my story too, when I when he gets late game, he's like Zen, he's like Zenny's in, in, in a way, but I think he's stronger than Zenny's, honestly. Because, sure, Zenny's is like one of the first Dark Knights you get, but if you they turn if they turn Darius into a Dark Knight, oh my gosh, walk, watch out. Yeah, he'll be a, a really good Dark Knight. I'll tell you that right now. Right now. Very good. Okay, uh, well that's not on the road. Let's keep her on the road so we can keep... Man, we can barely get there. My dragons are so far away! My my whole frontline tanks are all in the back. This is bad form. <laughs> this is really bad form. I'll uh, keep the one guy healed up at least. I'm gonna tease them. I'm gonna tease them to come out after me. Try to trap the bomb out, see what you can do. Get, get, uh... Get all my healers in there. I'll get, uh, get this going here. I want to hit... I don't know what to hit, really. I've got... Okay, let's do this here. I'd rather hit the evasion guys with sick moves, you know, like breath attacks and stuff. Uh, should I do that or should I do this? Yep, 
Yeah, Darius is pretty good. He's pretty good. Um, I like to put Darius, Kate together, and then I like to put... Um, you could put Kane and Eliza together. That works out as a great team, too. Um, there's so much stuff you can do with that. And, and I even like to put um, Sugar with her grandpa, because you got the fire and ice working out. Works like a great team. Teams are pretty simple. Like I Personally, for me, it seems very simple to play with uh, Gamol. I'm not saying it's a simple army or anything by that nature. I'm just saying like like the way that they, they have some of the knights, it just seems right with certain teams and certain kinds of combinations it just seems right. Oh man. Let's do Let's do this here. Very good, very good. So yeah, so when you play the extra chapter, do you have to hold a certain amount of castles before the next turn limit? Um, yeah, you do actually. You have to have a certain amount, and each time you like push it forward, uh, then you have to have a, a certain amount based upon that. So it goes by, I don't know, I think the first one is, it goes by 4, 8, and then it adds on like three or four castles every turn so you're supposed to keep be up to a certain amount of castles so the whole point is Salman if you're gonna play it make four teams try to make four good teams right off the bat and have them like go do 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 and do this attack that attack to keep moving out it depends on which country you start as but keep moving around and keep attacking everywhere with as many teams as you can. Initially, you're going to have one team you build, then the second team, the third team, the fourth team. Sometimes I try to play some challenge stuff where I just have Umamaro play the defense. So I'll try to have him play defense on one castle. And then they'll come and attack me and I'll go boom, boom. And then win win all those points that way, which Umamaro can do. You know, he's, he's really good for that. He can definitely hold his own. But also, if you just play, if you play it too, you can just mess around. I did that too. Like you've got so many turns to get this many, this many castles. It could be like, no, I just want to level up. <laughs> just so you don't even have to play for points if you don't want to. You just could, you just could um, kind of do whatever you wish. Um, although, if you want to get the Zor illusion and stuff, you have to get up to a certain amount of points and. I think that's 30,000 points or something like that, which is a little tricky to get to, but it's not too, too hard. You only allowed a certain uh, number of them. You can get as much as you like, and the further you push it, the further the challenges are going to be upped. So if you, let's say you win a challenge, and um, the next turn you had to take over, I don't know, five castles, but you took over those five or four castles before, you know, uh, during this challenge, then you're just like one castle away from completing the next challenge. You know, it, it can get to that point. And then sometimes you got to be careful with that, because the faster you level, uh, means that the or the faster you complete these challenges means the faster that they level and if you don't have all your teams leveled up in time they they'll out level you so you kind of want to try to do it in just the right way but then again some some armies don't really get the kind of uh leveling growth or leveling love that you'd wish that they would have so it gets tricky but you can try it. If if you can get through it and get some good scores, you're gonna be you're gonna be good at this game, you know. And then you don't really have to worry too much, really. Uh, let's come right about there. 
No. Oh man, I wanted to get through here. That nightmare is gonna have to. We're gonna have to do a cleanse here, so let's do this cure. I'd love to do a heal, but whatever. Put the regen on. Oh no. Okay, we're just gonna take this thing out and uh, then we're gonna move on to Grand Edition. We'll do that right after this. So stand by, folks. We're gonna go ahead and play another game here. Let's see about where the protect spell should be, I think. Let's do protect over. Over yonder here. Perfect. I'm gonna level up to him anyways. I wanna get him up as high as I can. I'll get get him up to max as soon as possible here. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's just stand by for you for now. Try to come up with some ideas here. Uh, let's do... Okay. No, I've got the red dragon over there. Let's put the blue one here. I don't want them all crisscrossing all over the place. That's not... It's not going to work out in our favor, I don't think. And they're really holding their position hard, guys. They're holding very hard to their position. Man, I wish I had to protect over here, right there. It's not going to work too well because they all have protect on right now, man. They all have it. Here's the plan. Pop the protect, get that going, and uh, then he can kind of frontline a bit. They'll probably target him. That's okay. get this guy up here but uh, all right oh this is juicy oh breath attack and all these flowers here with a red dragon oh my gosh no not again oh they do this so much too I can't believe it they, they, they crit me so much with these little dudes. Ah. Stop that. It's getting annoying. It's getting really annoying. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we are here. 
and uh, yeah all right so let's give a little save here but yeah everybody on uh, YouTube if you enjoyed you know definitely do one of these and subscribe and all that sort of stuff and twitch thanks all for the all the subscribes and uh, follows I continue to do so help the channel grow and all that good stuff but um, we are going to we're gonna leave it there I'll leave it there for uh, for Friday. We'll come back Friday and we'll get going from there. My camera is really uh, there. We go. Too bright. Uh, did you mess with the setting that put the rune area back to the OG blue color? I'm thinking I might do that because it's kind of hard to see this. You know, I some battles I'm having a tough time with that. But like what it what it came down to was when I was doing those um, those extra battles with Morelva, and the enemy is like like a color that's very close to Morelva's colors, and it's just like you know I'm just looking at this big blob of like yellow, and I'm just like uh... <laughs> but this team here it's like I I like how they have new colors, but honestly. After playing it for a while, I'd, I'd I'd almost rather just have it set like kind of the original, you know, just have a blue rune area and everybody has it. Just kind of run with it. Um, I don't know. Because if I do this, I have to look at the road panel, but if I get up to here and it's over the water, sometimes I don't know if I'm in the lake or if I'm in land. You know, I can I can kind of tell with the forest, but lake and land, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did it. I did it one time. I think that was I, most of the time I do it was with Morelva, or if I'm playing, if I'm playing a lot of Gustavo against Morelva, that gets kind of hard to see. I might have to do it for this, but if I have any problems with this in the future, I definitely will probably change that because it'll be easier. There's also this thing too, where you can you know, hold them down. I just wish they were like a blue team, not a gray team. Because they come out grayish, you know, and everybody else comes out in their respective color. I wish they, I wish it was like a dark blue like Norgard had, you know, dark blue and then light blue and stuff like that. It would be I don't know. That's just me though, but all right, everybody on Twitch, uh, we're going to switch over to Knights of Tregaria. We're going to go ahead and play some Grand Edition here. Uh, we're finishing up one of these um, LPs that we're doing here so far. New Mechia is probably going to take over. But if you are sub there, you can call almost anything, really. <laughs> you can kind of change the battle parameters to your liking by having me play against the enemies and all that, you know. So we're going to go ahead and do that here. We're at the very, very bitter end. If we finish that, then we'll, we'll have to come up with something else. I was thinking about playing the second chapter. And so uh, followers can name any monster they want anywhere on the field, any team, any country, whatever. The subs can have me play a battle. You can uh, make or break an alliance. You can uh, call an organization phase, call an attack phase, all that kind of stuff. So... You know, subs actually kind of influence the battle <laughs> as far as this L LP we're going to be showcasing here. But, um, all right, everybody, uh, let me get this started. We'll get rolling here. And thanks for coming by, Falcos. It's, it's nice talking to you. Uh, we, you know, come hang out a little bit more. We haven't, uh, we haven't talked very much in a while. So I have to shut the stream down for about 10 seconds or so. So, you know, you might have to reload the page. But, uh, yeah. But other than that, everybody on YouTube, thanks for being here. Hopefully you'll come back next video. We'll play some more of this. Get through this battle. I don't think this battle will be too hard, honestly. Um, it's just... It's going to be a little tedious with the, you know, the forest and all that. But, um, yeah, everybody on YouTube, I will see you next episode. Those on Twitch, hang out with me. Reload the page, and we'll play some Grand Edition tonight. How about that? How about that? How about that? Sounds good. All right. See ya in a minute, Twitch.
Come forth, my faithful! Knights of Trigari, stand tall and stand firm. If you have subscribed to this and these lessons, let us serve aid to our fellow warriors. Your time is valued beyond gold or silver. So I thank you for sharing that and continue your work, my brothers.